amazing guys that got things done. A civil rights leader from Harlem who made American history, and yet most people have never heard his name. A lot of times the things that he did were behind the scenes. Alongside Thurgood Marshall, he shaped the NAACP's legal strategy leading up to the landmark case Brown versus Board of Education. Then he became the first black U.S. ambassador in American history. The fact of the matter was they could never conceive that a black man could ever be an ambassador. The story of Edward Richard Dudley is now being told as part of a new documentary, The American Diplomat. Leola Calzali Stewart is the film's director. What I really wanted to do with this film was to show the black experience in diplomacy. Edward Dudley Jr. has been waiting for this moment for decades to share his father's work. Born in Virginia in 1911, Dudley Sr. was one of the six million African Americans who moved from the South to Northern cities during the Great Migration. Following the promise of better opportunity, Dudley settled in Harlem and went to law school. He started with the uh, state attorney general for a year, and Thurgood had heard about him. Thurgood Marshall recruited Dudley to work alongside him at the NAACP's Legal Defense Fund. They worked on voting rights cases and filed lawsuits in an effort to get black teachers equal pay across the Jim Crow South. My father's job was to, to go down and try some of those cases, and there were uh, uh, a lot of local attorneys that risked their lives uh, starting the case and getting everything ready for them. In his next role, Dudley broke a color barrier inside one of the most prestigious agencies in the U.S. government. The State Department was created in 1789. Its diplomats, appointed by presidents, had always been the face of America in foreign lands. Dudley became the first African-American U.S. ambassador in the State Department's 160-year history. In 1949, President Truman appointed Dudley as the ambassador to Liberia. Helping build this new nation. While helping Liberia build their infrastructure, Dudley quickly realized the few African Americans that worked for the State Department were only given opportunities in the least prestigious posts around the world, no matter how qualified they were. Dudley looked at a system that had been in place for decades and said no. He created this, um, basically this, this research memo that really laid out the facts of what the reality was for black diplomats at that time. Using his experience fighting segregation cases with the NAACP, Dudley challenged the State Department's policies. As a result, more African Americans were promoted to the role of ambassador and placed in highly coveted posts, including in France and in Italy. Still, they struggled with the challenge of representing America abroad while still being treated as second-class citizens back at home. The film American Diplomat includes excerpts from Edward Dudley's oral history. I used to come back here to Washington in a circle with nothing but white people, and I'd be introduced as ambassador to Liberia, and none of them would ever hear that. In 1953, Dudley returned home to Harlem. He later served as Manhattan Borough President and even ran for Attorney General of New York State. Eventually, Dudley became a judge in New York Supreme Court, a role he held for 20 years. He wasn't worried about getting accolades. He was more, more concerned with results and changing the system. He took on segregation in the Jim Crow South and challenged the State Department in Washington and abroad, a fighter for civil rights whose story isn't so hidden anymore. And Tamsin and Corey, I have a personal connection to Edward Dudley. He happens to be my fiance's grandfather. Their family is continuing to learn more and more about Edward Dudley and the work he did both internationally and here in New York City. So it just goes to show you black history is all around us, including in our own family trees.